All right, guys, today I got something a little bit special. It is a fourth edition pack of Magic the Gathering. Quite old and uh, always fun to crack. Can anyone say dual lands? Because they're not in here, if only. But who knows, maybe there was a factory error and they accidentally put 15 tropical islands in this pack instead. You got that one Herloom Minotaur, I believe, on front. The price tag is uh, on his face, but um, nonetheless, very cool. 15 card trading game, 15 tradable game cards. Interesting wording. This is way back in the birth of Magic the Gathering with the Coast. Curious where they printed these. I'm thinking like overseas. Does it say? Very hard to read this. Uh, the gold on red text is not the greatest choice, but whatever. 1994. That's uh, two years after I was born. Dun, dun, dun. Let me see. Ba, 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 da, ba. Fourth edition contents. Uh, I'm not sure. Was it of the coast? Illustrated by. Well, that that is illustrated by them. I'm just trying to figure out if there's a date on here. I mean, I uh, printed in Belgium. There you go, Belgium. That's what I thought. Alright, so very cool. Got a 15 card boost pack from 4th uh, edition. And uh, go ahead and crack it open and see if there's anything lovely. Hopefully I'll get a Sylvan Library. Even though they uh, reprinted it in Eternal Masters. Which I'm still trying to work on getting. Just a little bit tight on money lately. But that's life sometimes. And uh, just in time. Let's see if I can even open this to start. Um... Let's see if I can even open this to start, and there we go. Almost. You can tell I almost opened it, but didn't. So, uh, I'll do the next best thing and flip it from the bottom. And I'm not sure, uh, where the cards are placed in, uh, this, it, like, as in rarity, so bear with me. I might read the rare first, I might read the rare last, I might not even get a rare. I don't know. Looks like the first card I got is, let's get this open, Ashes to Ashes. One and two black, very interesting, looks like a watercolor painting for sure. And it just looks like maybe, I don't think those are trees, um, maybe a volcano happened and like ashes are falling down on the earth. Very, very basic, but still very nice. It's got a nice uh, line up there, very uh, like heavy up here I feel got this here to kind of give you some more depth I really like it I just feel like it's ashes are raining down or something it's a sorcery for one and two black ashes to ashes uh, remove two target non artifact creatures from the game it deals five damage to you interesting so you get an exile two uh, non artifact creatures and uh, you take five damage so for three, that's pretty cool. Um, if you want to take five, so that's awesome. And I'm not sure which ones are the rares or not. So like I said, bear with me. And I love all their cards when they had like the zero equals <laughs> because uh, I think it's funny. You just can use it anytime for free. But uh, yeah, it looks like uh, that picture. Uh, I forgot where in the Vatican where like uh, they're touching fingers. I actually saw that when I went to Italy. I have some family over there. Great trip. Uh, instill energy. So it looks like they're transferring energy. I'm not sure from who to who. It looks like he has a lot of energy by the glow of his hand and he has least. So maybe he's giving him energy or he's giving him energy. Hard to tell, but definitely sparks are flying. Woo! One green enchanted creature. Target creature cannot attack this turn. Uh, the target creature can not, uh, excuse me. Target creature can attack the turn it comes into play on your side. So give your creature haste. And as zero, during your upkeep, untap target creature. Uh, Incel energy, enchant, use this ability only once each turn. So it's pretty much telling you at the beginning of your upkeep, you have to untap it uh, then instead of uh, your untap step. Interesting, interesting. Very cool, but it just gives your creatures first strike for a green. Interesting card. I got a control magic. Looks like he's doing some uh, wizardry. It's interesting because his eyes are a little wonky looking. I'm not sure if he's looking at me with this eye and the camera with that eye. I don't know, but maybe you gotta have a little wonk to be able to do magic. Looks like he's got a skull there. 
crystal ball, candles, some sort of like incense burner or something, some scripture over him and some monk. And he's just doing magic, creating some sort of cloud form or something beautiful. Control magic, two and two blue. Lovely art, got like three things on his forehead. Reminds me of that guy from Dragon Ball Z, that little... That little guy, I forgot his name, Krillin, I think? I don't know. That was a long time ago when I watched that. He's got Squirrel out here. Definitely doing some magic. Interesting to see what he makes. But too bad it's only a picture and not a video. <laughs> just kidding. Uh, and it is just uh, two and two blue. Gain control of target creature. Very simple. Not much text, not much anything. Illustrated by Damien... Willich and uh, I actually read the artist on this card Ashes to Ashes by Drew Tucker Very beautiful watercolor uh, Interesting uh, picture very nice detailed fingernails very long thumb. I would definitely cut it, but I always bite my nails Not a good habit uh, Damien Willich also uh, drew uh, this one and control magic very cool love control magic So this is just such a simple card uh, you play this throw it on a creature your opponent controls and then you get it very cool the next card I got is a Power Surge. Uh, interesting art. The, uh, always the older art it just looks so interesting. It looks so hand drawn, so uh, like not computer animated or whatever. Like nowadays, I'm sure they're doing it on pads with like electronic pencils and stuff, uh, and just like pretty much just online medium. And back then, I'm pretty sure they did it on like canvases and stuff. Then had to like scale it down. I'm sure it took much longer, which is why they probably switched to digital. But still, love the art. And he's got his signature. The SD, possibly. David Schulter. I'm not sure what that says. Possibly the date. But very cool. Uh, power Surge. Two red. It looks like a lightning bolt hit him in the head. Except he is not in pain. It just looks like he is in some sort of deep thought trance or something. I don't know. He's just gaining power, maybe. I don't know. Very cool. Nice, uh... Uh, shading, uh, dark down here, dark down here, got that nice blue, it definitely draws you right to his face, nice reflection off the forehead, the neck, very interesting, and just not bad art, not bad art at all, it's an enchantment, during each player's upkeep, power surge deals one damage to that player for each land he or she controls that was untapped at the beginning of the turn before the untapped phase. So pretty much it's saying if you don't spend all your mana, uh, when it becomes your untapped phase, if you have untapped mana, ba-boom, ba-boom, you take some damage. So it's kind of like mana burn. Interesting, interesting. Very cool. Could really mess with some people and uh, make them want to play spells they don't want to, or just get in some damage, but even to you, so be careful. The next card I got is Erosion. Very beautiful art. I love... Uh, the way this one looks I'm surprised it's just withering away slowly at the bottom it looks like that rocks actually just floating in the sky uh, beautiful wave water work uh, nice shading uh, just lovely nice rock cliff pretty well balanced heavy here got a little bit here some blue here and some darker up here clouds in the sky look quite angry I'm not gonna lie this guy's a little busy and a little hard to tell it's cloudy but um Nonetheless, very great art, very good shading. Erosion, tree blue, and this is by Pete Ventures. And now uh, you can tell this is 4th edition because it says 1995, Wizard of the Coast. 5th uh, edition says 1997, I believe. And uh, this is Enchant Land. During his or her upkeep, target land's controller pays one or one life or target land is destroyed. Effects that per friend and redirect this damage cannot be used to counter this loss of life. So, throw this on uh, opponent's land. They either have to pay one mana each turn or a life. And uh, just keep beating them away with that. Very cool, very cool. Lovely art. Got a Dwarven Warriors. Classic art. I love this. Love the depth to it. You see the guy up front. You see his buddy in the background. You see another buddy in the background. And then another. Got some layers to it. Nice uh, red shading. Lighter over there. Kind of show you the shadows. And he's just ready for battle. Got some like rings around his beard. He's probably been growing for his whole life. His mustache is insane. I couldn't imagine. I feel like that would just get in the way in battle, like swinging your head around, like flop and hit you in the eyes and stuff. But I'm not sure. Got huge horns. Nice uh, metal or bronze uh, cap. Got some nice reflection on it. Got some shoulder pads or uh, shoulder armor. Looks like he's got leather armor on his stomach. 
And, uh, can't tell where his weapon is. I assume it's some sort of hammer just because I feel like all dwarves have some sort of hammer. <laughs> I don't know. Two and a red. Summon dwarves. Tap target creature with power greater than uh, no greater than two becomes unblockable until the end of this turn. Other effects may later be used to increase the creature's power beyond two. Hmm, interesting. I like that. It's a 1-1 one, one, and it's Douglas Sh Shelter uh, is, did the art. So pretty much, if you have a creature with power two or less, you can uh, tap it and attack it and then tap him and he cannot be blocked. And then you can throw like 13 mighty gross on him if you're, or whatever, let's just be reasonable, like two mighty gross on that creature and give him some strength and uh, it's still unblockable. So very cool. like that card. Pretty cool. Classic. So is the Semiot Healer. Heal the poor man with your herbs and spirits and uh, all those uh, elixirs and stuff. It looks like he's holding his finger up to his nose and his heart. Maybe feeling if he's still alive or trying to pulse energy into him. He's got a weird look on his face like he's a little disturbed. And yeah, very interesting. Mm -hmm, just beautiful art. This is by Tom Wanderstrand. I believe... That's a German thing or something with the two dots above the A. Not sure how to pronounce it, but anyway, still. A semi healer, one and a white for a summon clerk. That's a 1-1. One, one. Oh, yeah, and this is a 1-1 one, one, uh, one, one summon dwarves. I think I said that, but I'm not sure. And it has tap, prevent one damage to any creature or player. But for a card like Erosion, effects that uh, prevent or redirect damage cannot be used to counter this loss of life. You could not use this card on this to stop that loss of life. So just keep that in mind. The next card I got is Drain Life. A very nice card. This is uh, back in the day before they put like an X in the <laughs> up here. Yeah, but very cool. Drain Life. Interesting art. Uh, it looks like he's just like falling over and his soul is just being siphoned out of him and he's about to just fly away or something. You can see he looks he has a little bit of pain in his eyes. His eyes are closed. Very interesting art, nice shading. I think it's just paintbrush. I'm not quite sure the medium. Got a very nice yellow background and very blue. Quite balanced. Definitely draws you right to him. Then you notice his essence is leaving. It is drawn by Douglas Shelter again. This is a sorcery. Drain life deals one damage to target creature or player for each uh, each swamp you pay in addition to the casting cost. You gain uh, one life for each one damage. Uh, you cannot gain more than the toughness of the creature or the total damage of the player drain life uh, damages. So pretty much uh, you pay one uh, one in a black. It should be X one in a black. And then you pay, um, X has to be uh, in black, so you can pay uh, two and three black and do three damage to target creature or player. And if that creature had a toughness of two, you would only gain two life. But if you did the damage to a player, you'd gain uh, the three life. So it says you can't uh, gain uh, more damage than uh, the toughness of the creature. So you can't pay like 20 into it, kill a 1-1, one, one. you'd only gain one life. But still, very cool. Looks like I got a regeneration. Another classic, classic card. Looks like he's rebuilding his arm that has just been cut off. Very beautiful. Very abstract art. Love it. By Quentin Hoover. Probably made the vacuum. No, I'm just kidding. One in a green. Beautiful art. Almost looks like... I don't know. Paint and pencil work. I'm not sure. Got the artist's signature in, like, in the background of a picture back there. Quentin Q. Very cool. Very beautiful. You can tell like he's doing some sort of spell, holding up a hand sign and like vines are coming and helping him rebuild his arm. Just beautiful. Very good explanation. Enchanted creature. So uh, you pay one in green, throw this on a creature, and it has green, regenerate target creature. Uh, uh, regenerate target creature, regeneration, enchant. So pretty much you get to regenerate your creature if you pay one green, if you throw this on it. Boom, saves some life. And got a spell blast. Lovely counter spell. Well, I guess they did have X's in uh, their cards up here, but they just didn't have it for this one because they want you to play back black mana, so that would be a little bit confusing. Um, but they might have changed the text on Drain Life. I don't remember. I think they did. I'm not sure. Well, anyway, spell blast, very beautiful art. 
just very dark shadowed man uh, and very interesting colors all around very cool definitely drawn to him then you just spread out kind of look at the colors beautiful art mm, can wonder what medium it is is it paint or not I can't tell love uh, the yellow on the inside there's speckling of red it's just beautiful he's just holding up his arms creating a massive power and boom spell blast X and a blue interrupt this is before instant counter target spell X is the casting cost of target spell so if your opponent plays a spell that's a uh, casting cost of one you pay one in a blue and boom it's countered if you pay a cast a spell that has a casting cost of 10 you pay 10 in a blue and it's countered so it's all right but still counter spell is the ultimate i feel i got a fire breathing another classic lovely lovely look at that dragon just breathing fire yeah another little dragon almost looks like a dragon but uh, i think that's his claw that's funny his claw looks like a dragon head itself <laughs> interesting interesting it almost looks like the angle of the fire coming out of the dragon's mouth should be more directed towards us but um it's all right it's still a beautiful picture lovely uh dark here which is very good because it's lighter here draws you definitely towards uh the middle ish and then you notice the flames and then you go back to the dragon and see what it's coming from and then you slowly notice the claw and be like wow it looks like the artist did do a signature tf dan fraser df okay he combined it the d and the f i love that fire breathing one red enchant creature and it just has uh pay a red target creature fire breathing enchant gets plus one plus zero until end of turn throw this on a creature pay a bunch of red pay three it gets plus three plus zero pay ten it gets plus ten plus zero so you can get a lot of damage in kill a creature and do a lot fire breathing gotta love it i got a carnivorous plant interesting art very busy very busy indeed it's uh, a little bit hard to tell the depth on this picture because everything is so evenly colored then there's not that much uh like fog or anything in between but uh you can tell like uh there's like big old chompers in the front and there's some plants in the background some vines and there is a little background there interesting you can see another plant with his mouth open here just waiting and he has slobber dripping down watch out he will get you. It is three in a green summon wall. It had a mouth like that of a great beast and gnashed its teeth as it strained to reach us. I am thankful it pos possessed no means of locomotion. <laughs> At least it couldn't walk to get them because if it could, it would chomp them. And it's a wall, so uh, walls can't attack, but it's a four or five, which is pretty nice. It's not like a zero five. So if they attack with like, uh, I don't know, like a four. Oh, like a 6-4, uh, it would still kill it. And it's by Quentin Hoover. Very cool, very cool. Walls. And I got a giant tortoise. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. I had a pet turtle for a while. A box turtle. Very nice. Lovely art. Beautiful job on the sky. You just see this turtle. And he has like a very serious look on his face. And it's just lovely. Giant tortoise. One in a blue. Uh, just lovely art. His head stretching, got lots of stretch lines. See his like scaly skin. Summon tortoise. Very cool. Giant tortoise gets plus three, pl plus zero, plus three, wall untapped. And it's a one one. And it's a two cost. So when it's untapped, it becomes a one four, which is pretty cool. Give it lots of strength. It makes him not want to block. And I have uh, two more cards left. Not sure which one the rare is. Uh, so I'm sorry. Uh, but this is a uh, bloodlust. It looks like. This woman is like laying against some sort of fleshy object. Face track is definitely going all over her. Not sure what that is over there. Almost looks like like a nerve structure from like, I don't know, from like a specimen. It looks like she's laying, I don't even know, just like touching an open skin. I'm not even sure. Very interesting. I'd be curious to know. Uh, Bloodlust, one in a red. Uh, instant target creature gets plus four negative four until end of turn if there were two to reduce his creature's toughness less than one that creature's toughness becomes one and it's by Anison medoc so this card cannot be used to kill your creature even if it's a one one uh it would only uh bring its toughness down to one not zero and not kill it and it would make your creature a five one which would be great speed uh but uh you couldn't use it as a kill card that would be very useful if you could, because for two to do four damage, that would be lovely. But still, great card. 
And sorry, no regeneration, but that's all right. I mean, no uh, Sylvan Library, but that's all right. I got a Circle of Protection White. Looks like some sort of a uh, circle drawn on the ground, some scripture written out. Stand in there, do a little protection. Reminds me of SpongeBob where they draw a circle around him to protect themselves from that bear. And then Squidward doesn't, and he pays the price. Circle of Protection White, one and a white. Lovely art, just a nice stone wall. Stones fit very nicely. Got some good depth to it. Got little beams of sunlight coming in. Very great perspective. Love it. Looks like the artist's signature is there. Uh, like my writing, you cannot read it for garbage. It is by Douglas Schulter again. Enchantment. One, prevent all damage against you from one white source. If a source deals damage to you more than uh, once, this turn you pay one each time to prevent, prevent that damage. So, if a white creature attacks you, pay one, stop all that damage. Or if a white spell attacks you, um... Pay one and then it will stop you. But if three white creatures attack you and they play a spell, you have to pay four to stop all the damage. But the circle of detections are really good, especially if you uh, want to sideboard it or something and you know what type of deck your opponent uses. You can definitely block a lot of damage. Classic card, very great. Well, that was uh, my fourth edition uh, booster pack opening. Not sure which one the rare is, uh, but still, I had so much fun opening it, and I hope you guys enjoyed watching. Thanks for stopping by, and have a wonderful day.